No, it's currently the winter break of my freshman year of college, and I've got a lot of questions regarding why I chose Harvard over Stanford. And so rather than keep repeating the same inf information over and over again, I thought, why not just make a YouTube video, put it out there, and anyone can come watch. Because back when I was applying last year and going over my decisions, there weren't really any videos out there regarding this issue. So I was like, okay, let me just put my thoughts out there, and anyone can come, you know, kind of watch this video and see why I made this decision and why I chose Harvard over Stanford. Um, but with that being said, let's see why I chose this over this. So firstly, if you prefer to read my reasoning rather than watch, I've included a link in this description of this video that links to my story on the Harvard website. And it's pretty much the same information, but except the video gives a little bit more detail, uh, I would say. Um, but yeah, if you prefer reading over watching, that's fine. Um, head over there if you want. Uh, but with that being said, let's get on with the video. So when people usually think about an engineering school, their top thoughts usually point to schools like MIT, Stanford, Caltech, uh, Carnegie Mellon, schools like that. And yet, when decision day arrived, I ended up choosing Harvard. Why? Well, besides being rejected from MIT, it came down to primarily two reasons. Community and location. Let's we'll start with community. Because Harvard is not normally considered to be an engineering school, the applicants that apply to this uh, college with this major in mind, or concentration as we know it, uh, is typically lower than at schools like MIT and Stanford, where the majority of the focus is on technology. And while this might seem detrimental at first glance, it's actually super beneficial. Because the engineering community here is smaller compared to other larger uh, engineering schools, that does mean that it becomes a much more tighter one because of the fact that you're able to connect with your professors on a much more personal level due to the fact that the ratios aren't insanely absurd like a 300 to 1 student teacher ratio which does mean that you're able to uh, pursue more opportunities with them to say create new inventions to pursue research with them to just get to know them on a personal level and on the flip side since there are less of us that also means that there are more opportunities for us to take our professors out to lunch and get to know them on a level that's outside of the academic scene you know you're able to get to know them not as like professor blank but as you know mr mrs father mother you know grandfather like you get to know them on a much more personal level and get to know who they really are and what values they really hold dear to them and that does result in a better letter of rec because they're able to understand you better and write better um letters that truly reflect who you are as a person and because of the fact that the engineering community here is smaller that also means that when we're pursuing uh things like you know job positions and internships there's less competition because of the fact that there are fewer numbers of us and so when a company only has say 20 spots available for students at a particular school it's really nice to know that you only have to go against say 50 other kids um for those spots when compared to a larger school with say 800 kids that are all vying for those same spots but the idea of jobs also brings me to my second point, which is location. Because of the fact that Harvard is located in Cambridge, that opens up so many opportunities for kids here to pursue different job interests in the city. Because Cambridge is already a very, very, very big uh, hotbed for STEM related um, companies. And so as a result, it's easier for Harvard kids to get into contact with them because of the fact that they both are located in the same city. So all you need to do is send a quick email or even just take a hike down the street and go visit them in person and get to you know make yourself known get to say that you're interested in trying to see what's going on here and try to help out in any way you can maybe not exactly that because that might be a little hesitant but you know you know what i mean because overall it's much easier to make yourself be known and um appear on the radar for potential hires compared to a school that's across the country that harvard brand name does wonders both domestically and in foreign countries so yeah and because of the fact that Harvard is located so close to MIT, that also means it's possible to cross our different classes and pretty much have the best of both worlds while living in the same place. Like, that's, if you think about it, that's pretty insane, isn't it? Because you're technically being both an MIT and Harvard student while pursuing an education at Harvard. But not to mention, Harvard is also building, or has already finished its new engineering campus, which is going to be a really big attraction for a lot of engineering kids. I definitely know that I'll be spending a lot of time there, so. And there's some other smaller reasons as to why I chose Harvard over Stanford, like, for example, the coronavirus. Because of the fact that, well, actually, it's still 2021 and we're still in this pandemic. Um, but because of the fact that the pandemic was ongoing during, uh, what was it, like, uh, May 2020, all virtual, uh, well, what I mean is that all admitted uh, student visits were turned into virtual visits, which didn't really give me, like, the feeling of the campus I really was hoping for. Well, um, 
back say you know, like December 2019. And so as a result, just decided to play safe, um, you know, stick closer to home because I'm from Boston anyway, so I already know the streets and I know everywhere here. So I decided rather than, you know, go across the country for a campus I've never been before, let me just stick at home. Let me go to a school that's pretty close to me. But with that being said, those are just some of the reasons, some of the major reasons as to why I chose Harvard over Stanford in the end. It was definitely a, a tough decision. Um, it was definitely not, not easy in slides to make. It took me all of April to make make up my mind so many youtube videos that some were helpful some were not obviously i would have been probably easier to choose if i had something like this to watch um but you know i didn't so i'm hoping now to make this video to help all of you who are currently struggling with decision or just you know are all curious as to like what school they should be aiming for um both schools are great all engineering schools are great all colleges are great these are just some of my reasons why i chose harvard over stanford in the end and i hope you kind of are able to formulate your decision as to why you choose the school you end up choosing in the end um but with that being said if you guys have any more questions or any uh any concerns you want to bring up feel free to um join my discord in the link below um it'll link to my own personal discord but i am able to help with you uh whether it be dms or my my discord and my little axe denzel uh channel you can throw your questions in there and i'll be able to either answer them in discord or make a video about them but with that being said i will see you guys later